Oh, banjo. And she looks. Wow. <laughs> this ain't Texas. Ain't no hold'em. Hey. So I got distracted. Down, down. This ain't Texas. Ain't no hold'em. So lay your cards down, 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 down. She's from Texas. It's kind of like a way of saying you're not home anymore. You're kind of somewhere else. And also, I'm not your average like country music star. Maybe it's more like this ain't your this ain't your average rodeo. Is that a saying? Welcome back to my channel. Didn't see you come in there. How you doing? Andrew, Andy, Drew, whatever you call yourself, are you doing another <laughs> reaction video? I've been hearing so much about Beyonce's Texas Hold'em, her uh, uh, the, the te her uh, country music release. I promise I'll talk well this whole video. Beyonce, I know she's from Texas. I imagine she's a country music fan as well. And this is, I believe, her first country album. The question is, is it real country, it would seem? It's like, oh, is this country or is this Beyonce's version of country? There's gatekeeping in all different forms of music. I, I would recommend in your own personal listening time, you know, have whatever politics on music you want to have. But I recommend in your own music, let things in. Let yourself enjoy things. At, le at least allow, open yourself up to the possibility that you might enjoy a song. Before you think about the artist who did it, or, or, or what type of music you generally listen to, or what type of music you don't like to listen to, don't worry about all that stuff. That's high school bullshit, okay? <laughs> music is to be listened to and loved and heard. So let's hear Beyonce's, uh, this is Texas Hold'em, the official visualizer. I also play a lot of Texas Hold'em, foolishly. Uh, until I get tired and I just go all in on something and then I'm, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, actually my buddy, I don't know if you want, I'll say his name. I'll even put a, a picture of him right here. My buddy Sky <laughs> took some money off of me recently. And, uh, while a very lovely guy, he is from Texas, by the way, he's from Houston. He owes me 20 bucks. Well, he doesn't owe me 20 bucks. He won at fair and square. Anyway, this is Beyonce's Texas Hold'em, the official visualizer version. Oh, banjo, right? And she looks wow. <laughs> this ain't Texas. Ain't no hold 'em. Hey, so I got distracted. Down, 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 down. So pack your Lexus. And the G. Throw your keys up. Hey, stick around, round, 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 round. Stick around. And I'll be damned if I can't slow down. With you come throw some sugar on me, honey, too. It's a real live boogie and a real live hold down. Don't be a bitch, come take it to the floor now. Woo! Huh. There's, a Ooh, there's a tornado in my city. In my city. In the basement. Love that folky that harmony. Pretty. Pretty. Rugged whiskey. We surviving. We surviving. Up up kisses, sweet redemption, passing time, yeah. Ooh. Minor. One step to the right, we headed to the dive bar. We always thought it was nice. Ooh, run me to the left, then spin me in the middle. Boy, I can't read your mind. This ain't Texas, ain't no hold'em. Lay our cards down, 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 down. So pop your letters, throw your keys up. I have to get this image off my <laughs> screen, it's too distracting. Middle break here. Right. We headed to the dive bar. We always thought it was nice. 
key though. Gosh, I actually really like that. The end part is really interesting. The um, the weird added little cording they do. Okay, initial reaction. Just the imagery is so crazy. <laughs> She's so crazy sexy right now. I'm just going to be brutally honest. We're not going to discuss it in a, at any length. I know there are people of all ages and creeds and whatever who watch my videos. So, uh, well, and she looks... It's not like in this particular thing and the other imagery I've seen from this album, I don't, is it, she's like a cowboy hat on one. In this, she just has like a leather kind of duster and underneath she's almost naked. There's like, uh, you know, some covering ups and things like that, but it doesn't look super country to me. Country is about like certain standards, right? Like we literally standard songs that are standards, right? And also kind of certain dress codes, certain lyric choices, certain subject matter choices, certain chord choices, all those things, right? And all forms of music have those things, by the way. Beyonce comes from R&B, she comes from hip hop. To me, she looks really, really hip hop and really R&B, but the song is just... Badum bada, badum bada, badum boom, 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 boom. Badum bada. Right, we're not a lot of chord changes, but really fun. All in the rhythm, all in the right hand. If you're an early guitar player, this is just really D, G, and A. Goes into B minor there. At the end, we kind of outro with some uh, fun chords there. <laughs> but it seems like she's really trying to say, okay, here's my country. Here's how country is in my kind of R&B realm, my R&B spirit. It feels dancey. It feels fun. It has that kind of plucky, upbeat kind of country sound. It doesn't sound like she's making fun of anything to me. It doesn't sound like she's putting anything down. It sounds like she's kind of coming into something with her own point of view. Maybe you disagree. Let me know. This ain't Texas. Ain't no hold'em. So lay your cards down, 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 down. She's from Texas. It's kind of like a way of saying you're not home anymore. You're kind of somewhere else. And also, I'm not your average like country music star. Maybe it's more like this ain't your this ain't your average rodeo. Is that a saying? Uh, Texas Hold'em is the best form of poker. I believe it's from Texas. It's probably why it's called Texas Texas Hold'em. Because in a lot of songs, when they say lay your cards down, it means like like when the Grateful Dead would always say lay your cards down. He's like, let's see what you got. I call. Which means I'm let's let's end the hand. Let's see who won. Let's see who has the better cards. Enough bluffing, enough betting, enough procedure. Let's see who won the thing. I call. Lay your cards down. I'll lay mine down. Right. I think she's saying lay your cards down. Like put your cards away. It's kind of a different world. So park your Lexus, which distinctly not a country thing, and throw your keys up. So like stay, stick around, round, 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 right? And I'll be damned if I can't slow dance with you. E interesting that she's saying slow dance in a really upbeat kind of fun song and come pour some sugar on me, honey, honey, too, or something like that. But she's talking about the opposite thing. So this seems to be to be like a song kind of of opposites, of holding kind of contrarian things up to uh, country style. I mean, she's just like fully nude here essentially <laughs> and you know it's not like she did like a country album where she put on like a denim outfit and put on a cowboy hat and you know rode in on a she's like i'm me still but i'm doing this okay i'm different maybe than your average country star 
And I'll, da- I'll be damned if I can't slow dance with you. She wants to change shit up. That's what it seems like to me. It's a real life boogie and a real life hoedown. Don't be a bitch. Come take it to the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying these things are kind of imagery it's not what maybe real country fans are like or what everybody who likes country is like this is real life it's not this kind of pretty picture of whatever it's funny but i mean she's very very wealthy and very very elite so it's funny to like for her to talk about real life in, in a certain way <laughs> um but i think she's like more than just one type of person likes country more than just one type of media can be country don't be a bitch come dance with me that's what i think she's saying come take it to the floor now yeah it just seems to be a lot of contrary and almost kind of uh, uh confronting language isn't it this ain't hold em, ain't this ain't texas this ain't hold em. lay your cards down park your lexus throw your keys up stick around around it's like all these things she's like trying to play against expectation that's what it seems like to me there's a tornado in my city hit the basement that shit ain't pretty. Maybe she's talking about climate change. Maybe she's talking about weather coming to Houston. Houston's been hit with a lot of horrible weather uh, and and just natural catastrophes over the past couple of years, as everywhere has. This seems maybe it's more auto, this is more biographical. Rugged whiskey, cause we surviving off red cup kisses, sweet redemption, passing time. Red cup, the solo cups. You're right. She's like, oh, we're getting through it. We're surviving. We're making the best of a bad situation. I, I, you know, it's funny. As much as she's like confronting country music, it seems like she's saying, and it's redemptive, and it's healing, and it's nurturing. You know, she's like confronting it, but say, I lo- I'm loving it. And then we go into woohoo, one step to the right, which reminds me of square dancing or line dancing, which I don't know as well, but it's probably more line dancing. Square dancing is, is different. We headed to the dive bar we always thought was nice. Run me to the left. Spin me up the middle, boy. I can't read your mind. That seems rather suggestive. (laughs) I also see just a lot of country music, just the simple pleasures, right? There's some of these kind of loftier uh, kind of points she's making, but they're also made in the kind of realm of simple pleasures. You know, going to a dive bar. There's a heat wave coming at us. Too hot to think straight too cold to panic, right? This, that has to be about climate change. That's a, a really great way to put it. There's a heat wave. Coming at us, too old to think straight, too cold to pan up. All of the problems just feel dramatic. Now we're running to the first bar that we find. It's interesting, again, we're dealing with kind of loftier themes. Climate change, emotionally kind of getting over that. It's probably a song more angled more to younger listeners. She, her, her fans are younger listeners uh, as well as older listeners, but she probably the majority are probably younger listeners. Young people right now are, are incredibly worried about climate change. I'm incredibly worried about climate change, even as I leave the young person realm. <laughs> um, and there are definitely plenty of people of all different ages who are terrified about climate change. I'm glad that she's talking about it. I think that's really cool that she's able to put those kind of loftier ideas into a, a a simple kind of fun country song which usually talks about more kind of local themes right more kind of local stuff all the problems just feel dramatic now we're running to the first bar we find it's like you can't handle it it's too much to think about but i really like this song this is fun she looks effing amazing and i think she's actually talking about some really important stuff here i think she's trying to you know she comes from a different place a little bit so even though she comes from texas African-American woman comes from maybe a different background and culture than country generally is. Let's be honest. It's a lot of white people. White people get to do music too. We're not trashing white people here, but she's coming at it from kind of a different perspective. I was scrolling before I saw Rick Beato did a reaction to this and it's a short. So I figured let's just look at it. It goes in. The St. Texas. The St. Texas. Oh, ain't no hold them. No Lay your cards down, right? They're not in Texas. Park your Lexus. So we have Texas Lexus. Okay, that's that's all right, I guess. It's a real life boogie and a real life hoedown. Don't be a bitch. Come take it to the floor. Woo. Don't get me wrong. I love Beyonce. Crazy in Love is one of the best songs. Oh, he doesn't it's like got it. Two billion streams. Beyonce is so good that you don't even realize how bad the lyrics are. Don't be a bitch. Come take it to the floor now. I don't, okay, he doesn't like the lyrics. I think the lyrics are actually really fun. Uh, I think he just thinks of maybe, he's maybe, I like Rick Beato a lot. I didn't realize he was going di- to dislike it. <laughs> I like Rick Beato's channel a lot. He's trying to throw it away like, oh, this is just a simple song. Texas, Lexus, not a great rhyme. I think she's trying to juxtapose these things. 
Lexus isn't Texas or Lexus isn't country. Country people with Lexuses, let me know in the comments how wrong I am or how wrong she is. But that's what I think she's doing. I don't think it's just like simple rhyme time. You know, the people who write these songs along with Beyonce, and Beyonce's a brilliant lyricist too, a brilliant lyricist. Lemonade is spectacular. A lot of her work is spectacular. I don't know if this is necessarily her saying, her scolding country music. I see a lot of respect and admiration and appreciation of country music in this. If it's danceable and it's fun, people are going to dance. Maybe people will boo or something like that. But I bet a lot more people are going to be like, yay, let's go dance. I love this song. This is a great group song. I think there's much less judgment on these levels about music. Music is a rhythmic thing. It gets you to move. It gets you to think. It gets you to dance. And if it succeeds at those things, especially it's succeeding at getting people to think and talk uh, and and move. So I like this song. Uh, I hope you do too. Are you enraged with Beyonce? Beyonce? Are you, uh, is this song a, a beyond the pale for you? Is it dull? Is it dry? Is it unimaginative, unnecessary, unconfident, and uncool? So lucky that those are all alliterative, isn't it? Hmm. Are you a country fan? Are you an R&B fan? Are you a Beyonce fan? I am actually really curious to know what the audience for this is. Is it going to be the Bay Hive or is it going to be country? And where do those two cross over? She wouldn't put this out if she didn't think there was some crossover in those communities. Okay, she's not a stupid businesswoman or or rock star, pop star, R&B star, country star. She is not going to put something out unless she thinks there's an audience for it. I bet there's an audience for this. So I liked it. Much respect to Rick Beato, but I think he is wrong here. Let me know what you think. Oh my God, she is sexy. <laughs> okay, until next time, keep playing.